Hey everyone, welcome back to Play Crastination, Population 375, and welcome back to the next episode of our Pokemon Fire Red Scrambled Egglock. In the last episode, guys, we did end up making our first sacrifice, so if you don't want to know, click off now, go back and watch that video so you can get caught up. Our first sacrifice was, unfortunately, our starter, Ira, um, because it's what made the most sense, and uh, Mystery, the horsey, has taken her place. So we've swapped one water type out for another water type. Um, but uh, you know, Ira's gonna live long in our hearts and it's actually interesting. Uh, I was reading some of the comments. Uh, first of all, we're gonna go finish up the trainers that are north of Cerulean City as we had to go talk to Bill and then we're gonna try to take on, um, we're gonna try to take on the Cerulean Gym today if we can, if we can. I think we should be able to. Uh, it's interesting guys, I was reading some of your comments and uh, this was a very split decision. I have to, I have to say, Execute's gonna come in. Um, this was a pretty darn split decision, which I kind of dig. Um, some of you guys were very much, yes, Ira was the right decision, and uh, you were smart for getting rid of her. Others said, ah, Savage has a more, you know, less reliable move set. High jump kick can hurt itself, and Heracross is a really good replacement. I can see that argument as well. Um, so there was there was arguments on both sides, and I like that. In the future, uh, you know, if we continue to grow, what I would eventually love to do with um, with these Nuzlocks, with these Martelocks, whatever you want to call them, let's see mystery in action right away, um, is leave it up to a vote of the people, you guys. Uh, so, you know, if we ever end up getting it to the point where enough people are watching these and we're doing them, you know, every two days, anytime a sacrifice is necessary to be made, um, we may end up with a scenario, rock throw, you missed because I lowered your accuracy. I like your accent, where you from? I'm Liberian. I can't stop watching vines. Um, what were we talking about? I would love to leave it up to vote of the people, so that in the future, if you guys really wanted to vote, as it, if it seems, again, I'm, t I'm reading the comments of about three people, so I say split decision, it was a close decision. Um, if the decision in the future ends up being as split as this, this decision, it would be cool to actually have votes to decide which it should be. Espeon, huh? Got a little Espeon, I like your accent. Let's go for Dragon Rage. Gonna miss the tackle. Why am I the dodgiest boy on planet Earth? Why am I un incapable of being touched? I don't know, but I love it. Go for the tail up, doesn't matter. We're gonna go for the Dragon Breath and take out this Espeon. Uh, but yeah, don't worry, I, I hear you guys that um, think that, you know, keeping Savage was the wrong idea, but I th will probably, if we're being honest, we'll probably see who Savage evolves into in today's episode. And that's pretty exciting to me. Odor Sleuth. <laughs> Sniffing me. All right, I'm gonna go for the high jump kick. Watch him like murder himself on high jump kick. And then you guys that were like, hey, he's pretty risky. You guys were probably right, but I don't think he's going to. I think Savage wants to evolve and I'm excited for it. No matter who, no matter who it ends up being, I'm excited to see who Savage evolves into. Um, did we, do we have potions? We may need some more potions, but um, I think we're fine from now. We got an Espeon and an Umbreon. I don't want to use all of the Dragon Rages, but these things are tanky as can be. And so I'd rather just get rid of them quickly. Mystery goes to level 17. See, Mystery's gonna get caught up in no time. She is a little fragile right now, though, I will say. We have seven potions. That should be enough to get through the rest of the route, I would think. Uh, Mystery is definitely a little fragile right now, but um, she's going to be fine. A Noctowl. That is perfect as well. Two Aurora Beams should do the... Nope, they will not do the trick. You're lowering my attack. That does not really matter. We're going to land a crit, which will make three of these do the trick. Again, the growls don't matter. Keep Can a bird growl? I'm trying to think of the, the mechanics, the scientific mechanics of a bird. And, oh, checking, check, what, what is that? I'm getting, I'm getting word from above. They cannot growl. That's my, that was my brain calling into me, my, my earpiece. It's called my ear. Uh, it's called a cochlea implant. I don't know what it means. I don't know what that means at all. Um, my boyfriend is so cool. Oh my gosh. Well, if he was, he would be here right now. And he's not. Do we stay in and go for the quad effective Aurora Beam, or do we get scared and go into Panzer? Panzer needs a little bit of love. Panzer's the lowest level on the team, which seems crazy to me. I don't like that we're paralyzed. Seems crazy to me. I feel like Panzer, I mean, Panzer's the reason we got through the first gym, so I need to be giving Panzer a little bit more love. A Poliwrath. A Poliwrath. Um, Spork, you want to come on in here? 
I don't know what level Spork evolves into Alakazam, by the way. Like I said, I did make it. Um, I think the Stab Confusion is probably the strongest because it is both super effective and Stab, and I'm the greatest of all time. I've dodged the Hypnosis, which means I am once again the greatest. I was too busy looking at the spoon or bounce, maybe I bounced it back to him with the spoon. Magicians can do that, right? I don't know. Spork's gonna go to level 19. Spork is also just wonderful. Uh, do we have any Paralyzed Heals? Yes, I still have five of them. We're gonna have another item up here as well. I'm gonna put Panzer out front. What is Panzer holding? Quick Claw, all right, that's fine. Uh, I don't have like a, a ton of good battle items yet, so I haven't really done a lot of like assembling and really in third gen battle items, quote unquote, like life orb and things like that didn't really exist. So it's, um, I would say it's few and far between going for the bite. Kangaskhan's kind of scary, but maybe it's not. Might actually not be scary because I'm a bird. Yeah, I'm a bird. I'm a bird. I don't gotta worry about this. Grawr! I mean, growl. Apparently, Noctowls can growl. Can owls growl? I need to know this right now. I need to know this right now. I'm gonna go to a good old Google search. Golduck is gonna come in next. Man, we could really use, um... We could really use, um... Oddish on the team. Good old, uh, Olimar. Um, can owls growl? I like it. Can owls swim? Can owls be pets? Can owls be eaten? Are the top three Google results for can owls? Can owls growl? I want to know. Can you show me? Thunder Punch. Man, Thunder Punch comes in such handy. Uh, why do owls hoot? Can owls hiss? How do you attract an owl? Don't know. Anyway, Google did not have the answers for us, unfortunately, so this will be a mystery that I will take to the grave, I suppose. Or, or anybody that out there that knows it will take to the grave. We have an Anorith coming in. What is Anorith? Bug Rock? I believe you are Bug Rock, aka an Octazooka should do the trick. You're also only level 13, so I'm not too frightened. A Hoot Hoot, I will also, we, we destroyed your older brother. Can you also growl? Is it only a thing like in the lineage of owls when you become the oh well no we'll never know because you're frozen solid like you must have stepped outside it is so cold today guys I finally got me finally got me got myself a pair of thermal curtains for my for my curtain area back there it's um very nice uh, I no longer freeze at night when I go to bed which um, is the first time in a while I've been Intimidated, which I don't really like, but uh, it did not take you out. I'm impressed by that. I gotta give that to you, Masquerade. But the Swift will take you out. Um, I don't like freeze into an icicle at night, which is so nice. You amaze at what, what I'm like a, what a real night sleep feels like. I didn't see what was coming in, but Panzer's probably a safe option. Okay, yeah. No biggies here. Uh, what are. I think Pursuit is special, and since we've been growled, I f or since we've been intimidated, Pursuit is probably the smartest, and uh, luckily no Super Fang, just Hyper Fang, and that's gonna bring Panzer up to level 18. Uh, so we're definitely gonna get the second Gym Badge today, guys, and we may also get another encounter, if I can play my cards right. TM48 skill swap, do not care about that much, no offense. Uh, but thanks. I'm gonna put Savage out front because we want this evolution. I'm going to prioritize Savage over everybody else. He survived the chopping block and uh, we need to see if it pans out. Honestly, you can't go wrong with either Hitmontop, Hitmonchan, or Hitmonlee. Oh gosh, I really do not like this. I really do not like these guys. Panzer, come on in, save me. Water Sport, all right, that's no biggie. Dropex, nice, I'm digging it. Two Dropex, again, Dropex are very helpful, but um, getting rid of that Whisk Cash is a bigger deal, and Wormpool as your second mon. Uh, how much is a Rapid Spin gonna do? All right, not quite enough, so we will go into... Brady, you wanna take this thing on? I think you, I think you do, mon. Yeah, just go ahead and Sludge Bomb this thing. It's, that's not a great use of a Sludge Bomb now that I think about it. I thought for some reason Sludge Bomb had more than 10 PP. It does not. That's okay though. One more final trainer and we will be at Bill's house and we can see if he made us any cookies. I bet he didn't. Oh, what's your guys' favorite kind of cookie? I don't do question of the days, but if I did, there's today's question of the day. What is your guys' favorite powder snow? No problem. What is your guys' favorite kind of cookie? 
I got some peanut butter Oreos. Let me just preface this in general by saying I love Oreos. I love double, stuff, double, double stuffed Oreos the best, but Oreos is like the one company. There are so many companies out there that will try to do the flavors. Pe com companies love doing, oh, try fruity this, chocolate this, try extra cinnamon this. They do all these different flavors and they almost never work out. Almost, very rarely do they work out. Um, I'm scared of Jinx, so I will not stay in. I will instead hit it with a steel wing. However, I gotta give it to Oreo. They're one of the few companies that when they try the different flavors, it works almost every single time. I'm trying to think even like the weird flavors that you wouldn't think. Peanut butter Oreos are delicious. Vanilla Oreos are delicious. Mint Oreos are delicious. Lemon Oreos are delicious. Key lime pie Oreos are delicious. Strawberry or It's just weird that they have so many combinations that still ends up working no problem. The cape is a famous dates. <gasps> oh no. I am not allowed to go on dates. Um, let's talk to Bill. Bill's allowed to go on dates. Bill might be my dad. Oh, it's a Clefairy instead. Hey, I'm a Pokemon. Uh, no, I'm not. Call me Bill. I'm a true blue Pokemania. Hey, what's with that skeptical look? I'm not joshing you, pal. I screwed up an experiment and got combined with a Pokemon, so how about it? Help me out here. Wait till I get inside the teleporter. When I do, go to my PC and run the cell separation system. Okay. Please run the cell separation system. I don't know how a small child would know how to do this. When I was a kid, I couldn't even launch Dinosaur 3D. It was a computer game on a disc. You just put the disc in the slot, you press launch, but sometimes it didn't work, so you had to right click. I couldn't figure out how to do this as a kid. You think this kid, he's 10, he's gonna know how to launch a cell separation system? Apparently he did, because it worked. Yeah, thanks, bud, I owe you one. So did you come to see my Pokemon collection? Oh, you, you didn't. That's a bummer. Uh, I've got to thank you, so here, maybe this will do. An SS ticket from Bill. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. We can go on a boat now. And then cruise ship SSN is in Vermilion City. I hear there's lots of trainers on board, too. They invited me to their party, but I can't stand fancy dudes. Why don't you go in instead of me? Go on, have a good time. All right, thanks, Bill, if I have to, if you want me to. Let me check real fast and make sure I didn't. Oh, I did. I did forget one of these. A citrus berry could come in handy. Gotta make sure I didn't miss any of these little dark spots. It appears to be the last dark spot that I've missed. Uh, <laughs> excuse me, I, I tried my hardest not to cough there, and I think it worked pretty well. Any more dark spots as we head down here? No, down to Route 24, Cerulean City. Um, What order do we want to do this? Do we want to get the encounter first and then the gym badge? Or gym badge and encounter? I think I want to do encounter first. The people here were robbed. It's obvious that Team Rocket's behind this most heinous crime. Even our police force has trouble with the rockets. The rockets. Not the rockets. Um, let me use a potion really quickly and heal up Savage, even though it's not a great use. Let me use that as well. And we'll see what these guys are doing. Team Rocket must be trying to dig their way into no good. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Those miserable rockets. Look what they've done to my house. They stole a TM for teaching Pokemon how to dig holes. I was going to use it on a Mankey or a Sand Shrew. That cost me a bundle it did. Well, let me go ahead and get it back for you. Hey, stay out, it's not your yard. Huh? Me? I'm an innocent bystander, don't you believe me? I... the fact that you've launched a Pokemon battle with me has decreased my trust of you, I must say. A... Oh! It's one of these guys! Luckily, we now have an answer for this, and his name is Brady, who has defeated the Tennessee Titans. That's uh, just to date this. Oh, also, guys, sorry for, I, I forgot to mention this. I wanted to mention this right off the bat, but completely blanked. Um, I apologize for no video of this on Monday. Honestly, um, completely 100% got swept up in all that is NFL football. The games that were on this weekend were crazy and stressful, and uh, this weekend flew by. Luckily, today's Monday, it's Martin Luther King Jr. Day, um, and I have today off of work, so I'm able to get a little bit of catch up in, um, because I, I dropped the ball, and I apologize for that, so uh, you can hope that this will be the only time that this happens, but this episode will be going up on Wednesday instead. Level 17, though. We want to calm down a little bit. Yo, I got some keen eyes. You can't put the sand in my eyes. We need another flying type move. Like, if we can learn wing attack, don't get me wrong, I love drill pack. But, like, swift isn't that great, and having a second flying type, stab flying type move, I should say, I think would be much better. 
Well, you defeated the Team Rocket Grum. Stop, I give up, I'll leave quietly. That's right, you will. Give me that TM back. Give me back that dog. Okay, I'll return the TM I stole. TM 28. Okay. I better get moving by. I imagine, I didn't randomize TM, so it's probably still Dig. Hello. All right. Oh, I decided to just go catch a Diglet. All right, well, there you go. No TM required. Okay, so if we head down here below Cerulean City, we will enter Route 4, 5. One of the, it's Route 5. And on Route 5, there was a dog. No, on Route 5, we should be able to obtain our next encounter. If I do this correctly, which is to heal a Panzer and then to run down here. And our Route 5 encounter doesn't really matter, but it is going to be a Pidgey. Let's go ahead and Toxic this thing. It's level 16, which is nice. We'll get to get a night. Uh, did I buy Pokeballs? We have plenty. Well, we have 18. It doesn't matter. Toxic's going to take this thing out in about five turns anyway. So if we can't catch it in those five turns, then um, that's on me. But we do catch it on the first ball because he was scared of the Needle King. And he's like, I'm just going to stay in this ball. Yeah, I don't need to go back out there and <laughs> fight that thing. No nickname for the captured Pidgey necessary. Who's poisoned? Who is poisoned? Oh, Pidgey's poisoned. We'll get back there before Pidgey dies. We'll get back there before Pidgey dies. Meow. Uh, that's wrong, boy. Okay, we'll come back here. Um... It doesn't really matter if Pidgey dies. Like, I'm trying to think about it, and I'm like, if it died, would I lose my encounter? It's not our encounter, and it's not gonna die anyway, so it's not, let's just not even worry about it. <laughs> now we don't have to worry about it anymore, theoretically. Um, okay. So, let us turn down the brightness of our phone, because for some reason when it's really bright, it doesn't work. And let us pull up the dice rolling app. Let's go into Bill's PC really quickly, and try to remember which box we did last time. Um, please grab Pidgey. It appears the last time we have one, two, three, four, five, and we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So we must be on box two, if my math is correct there. Uh, which is nice. Okay, so you guys can see this effectively. We roll it a couple times, and our first column is going to be column number six, last column. And the number in that column is going to be number five, very bottom right. Excuse me, please stop. Please, dice. I only told you once, I won't tell you again. Please stop. Okay, plop this boy in our box and let's get our hatch before we take on Misty. Let's hope this thing is good luck. Let's remember we get to level it up to level 16 for the Pidgey that we just caught. That was very fast. Huh? What are we gonna hatch today in our Wednesday special of our Pokemon Fire Red Scrambled Egg Lock? Oh! Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Okay. I don't know this for a fact, but I know that my friend Mason sent me a Pokemon. I could only see the title of the eggs, but he definitely sent me a Pokemon whose name was Metal Boy. And so while it's maybe uh, a, a pretty straightforward nickname, I like it nonetheless. And so we're gonna nickname this thing Metal Boy. Now I hope you sent me this, I hope it wasn't a, like, I, when I saw the name, I was like, okay, so it must be a steel type. It could be Scizor, it could, well, it couldn't be a Scizor, it could be a Scyther and then a Scizor, it could be an Onyx and then to a Steelix, it could be a Skarmory. Oh, did you send me the first Skarmory? I hope you did not, why didn't I think of that then? Um, well, I hope you didn't send me the first Skarmory, uh, because his name is Pan her name is Panzer now. Uh, but this is Metal Boy, and Metal Boy gets to grow all the way. Gonna drink the milk and become real strong, actually eat candy and become real strong, and go all the way to level 16, which is pretty nice. Um, this is good. So we now have both a viable replacement, honestly, for both Panzer and Spork. Now, I think Spork is probably better overall. Um, but that's nice to have a Steel type in the box. And it's a pseudo, so you cannot be upset about that. Metal Boy the Beldum, go ahead and sit down in the box. Mason did send me the Magikarp. So I think he would have told me if he sent me the Skarmory. Mason, did you send me this Metal Boy? If so, I hope this was the name. We also have Olimar. Uh, this was from Totter. Totter let me know. And I don't know who sent in Zuset the Heracross. Olimar, I don't remember who sent in either, but I think Joji said he liked Olimar, so I'm gonna pretend that Joji sent it in. Anyway, 
Uh, I'm mostly stalling here because it's now time to take on the gym leader. First things first, we have some money, so let's make use of this money. By uh, We have a nugget, I should say, which can sell for a lot of money. And uh, let's buy some more potions. Like 13 more potions, it's a lot of potions, but I think it's smart. And um, let's do this thing. Let's do this thing. Who are we leading with? Let's lead with Savage. I'm probably going to use a... No, I'm not going to use a potion on Brady just yet. Uh, we will heal fully before the final battle. I think there's only two trainers to fight in here, so we'll fight these two trainers. Splash, I'm first up. Let's do it. And we will not skip past these battles because it is a gym. The trainers that are out on a route, I don't really care about just swiping past. Swipe or no swiping. I don't really care about just flying past them. Oh my gosh, guys. Something's going to happen after this battle, and it involves Savage. And I'm going to... I haven't looked at his stats yet, so it is going to be a complete surprise to me. I have not, like looked at his level up stats, so I'll make sure when it happens again to not look at his level up stats because I don't want to know what it's going to evolve into. I would love to be surprised. Maybe you guys have been paying attention this whole time, um, so you may already know, but by the time you watch this video, it will have already evolved unless it dies this turn somehow, uh, which I don't think is going to happen. So, Savage, gross level 20, blocked it out, blocked it out. Fantastic. I do not know what its stats were. A Growlithe is going to come in next. Oh, mystery, we snow. Would you like to come on in here, please? Come on in for me, thank you. Oh, dude, I gotta say, as much as I love Lapras, I really, really love Kingdra, so I'm pretty happy with um, with mystery overall as a Pokemon. Um, still, R.I.P. Lapras, R.I.P. Ira. I like the pronunciation. I miss the, the thing I miss the most about Lapras is the pronunciation of Ira. Yeah, it just sounds powerful to me for some reason. Mystery's a little more like doop -a doop -a doop. That can't be. Well, it is. I hate to say it, and what else can be is that Savage is evolving. For all you naysayers that said I should have sacrificed Savage instead, hit Monly, hit Monly, hit Monly. No, I mean it's okay. It's okay. It's not the worst. It's okay. I must say. This is an unpopular opinion. Hitmontop is my least favorite of the Hitmons, but actually, now that I think about it, it's probably not too bad. Let's learn Triple Kick. I don't really know what Triple Kick does. Let me take a look at what Triple Kick does. A three kick attack that becomes more powerful with each, with each successive kick. I kind of like the current setup. High Jump Kick's a little scary. I'm going to keep the current setup. Although, do we really need rapid spin? I doubt we're going to need a spinner. Like, I don't think it's going to be that intense a playthrough. Uh, I will say, let me let me just go ahead and be 100% open on us. Hitmonlee is my favorite Hitmon evolution, my favorite Tyrogue evolution. Um, and I typically like Hitmonchan as a nice number two, but I forgot with physical special split in this game, the different, uh, we have a Vibrava on the field, by the way. Um, which may know Dragon Rage, so let's be very careful and go into Spork. No, it goes for the Faint Attack. Let's also be very careful with that. And let's go for the Ice Punch, which should take this thing out. It's level 19. It's maybe kind of a tough gym battle, but I think we'll be fine. That does take the Vibrava out. Um, what were we talking about? <laughs> I've forgotten. Oh, with Physical Special Split, Ice Punch, Fire Punch, and Thunder Punch, First of all, we already have covered with Spork, and second of all, they're special in this game, so they don't really feed off of Hitmonchan's, although he's more of a defensive Pokemon, but anyway. Um, Hitmontop is a nice balanced Pokemon, and uh, I know some people that like it a lot, so you know what, I'm not upset about the Hitmontop at all. Okay, let's heal everybody up to full. Go ahead and get a little bit of potion going on you, get a little bit of potion going on you, and everybody is in tip-top shape. And we are now going to go for our second gym battle. Who do we want to lead with? We can lead with Brady and get a Toxic off if anything's scared. Let, we're making this too big a deal. It's not going to be that bad. We're just going to fight Misty and go for it. Hi, you're a new face. Only those trainers who have a policy about Pokemon can turn pro. What is your approach when you catch and train Pokemon? My policy is an all-out offensive with Water-type Pokemon. Nice music, Misty. You've been working on this. All right, two Pokemon. The first is a Shelter. 
we are good. <laughs> I have no concerns with a shelter. Let's go for the steel wing. Um, which is not very effective because you're not part ice yet and you are going to confuse me. So I'm not gonna deal with that. <laughs> I hate to say. Um, I'm gonna go into Spork and we're going to Thunder Punch your little shell face. This is a little scary. Okay, it's actually not scary at all. I'm 100% a liar and I also forgot no speed up button. Um, I don't know why I was nervous about that. It did no damage. Uh, let's go for the Thunder Punch. The Thunder, hit him with the right show. Right show, hit him with the Thunder Punch. You just gotta. If you wanna talk like Lieutenant Surge, you just gotta flex every muscle in your neck. And then, right, right show. It doesn't exactly work, but it's pretty close. Oh, my neck. Speaking of, anybody can give me a massage through the computer. A Whismer. All right, nothing too scary. Let's see the new and improved Savage here in action because it is a Whismer. And uh, I do like him on top. I think it's the I think it's the most visually appealing of all three. But for, did you just intimidate me? Oh, I have intimidate. That's actually very nice and could come in handy later in this playthrough and also look at Savage Go. Intimidate? I did not remember that Hypnotops have Intimidate. That is great and that's going to be the end of Leader Misty. Wow, you're, you're too much. All right, you can have the Cascade Badge to show that you beat me. All right, well, the gym battles, gotta say, have not been that difficult so far. The Cascade Badge makes all Pokemon up to level 30 obey. That includes outsiders you even got in trades. There's more you can now use cut any time, even outside of battle. You can cut down small trees to open new pathways. You can also have my favorite TM. That should be Water Pulse. TM03 teaches Water Pulse. Use it on an aquatic Pokemon. Could be a decent option for mystery. We'll think about it though. Um. All right, is there anything else we want to do today? I mean, I wanted to beat the second gym and I wanted to get another encounter. Look at the team. Look at the team. Once Mystery evolves, which I think is at level 26, so we do have some levels to go. But uh, once Mystery evolves, we are set. <laughs> because I think we can evolve her right after with the Dragon Scale. In the meantime, I should give her the Dragon Scale because I think it boosts Dragon type move. A Dragon type Pokemon may be holding it. That doesn't sound like it boosts Dragon type moves. Hmm. That does not sound like it boosts dragon type moves. Um, okay. Anyway, let's head down to the next area. In the next episode, guys, we are going to do a lot of trainer battles, which is not super fun. I know. I know. I'm sorry. I apologize. Let's visit this house first just to see. Um, you got anything for me? Oh, a daycare service. I will not even talk to you. Go away, please. Please, goodbye. Any hidden items down here? Any? I don't see any. Uh, let's walk through the tunnel. I think I randomized trade, so let's see if you're... Nope, it's the same. It's the same. Although we could have traded Pokemon. We could have traded our Nidoran for a Needle Queen. Now, there, I know there's a ton of hidden items down here in the underground path. The odds of me actually finding them are slim to none. <laughs> Clicking A as fast as I can, but I think the odds of us actually hitting a spot right where we find an item is pretty much slim to none. So yeah, I could walk like this and click every spot, which I probably should. If we're being smart cookies, then items are randomized. Somebody could have just dropped their master ball right down in this underground tunnel. It is totally possible that somebody dropped, I'll, I'll, I'll find one item. And if it's good, perhaps I'll continue the search off screen. If it's not good, I will end the search. Excuse me, I know there's items down here. You cannot hide them from me. Don't try to lie. Don't try to lie. Oh, sorry. We got the strongest in this version. There's actually every all trainers have the strongest grip strength possible and they don't drop items anymore. I know you dropped items down here. I just don't know where along this path. This is enthralling gameplay. I'm becoming itchy because this is so enthralling. Actually, that itch is my way of uh, my brain saying, hey, this is really awkward. You should stop walking slowly and clicking A. Anyway. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, next episode, we are going to head down towards Vermilion City. We're gonna have a lot of trainers to fight, unfortunately. Um, I think in the next episode, we'll probably clear the trainers north of Vermilion out. We will get the old rod. We'll probably get our Diglett's Cave Encounter. 
and maybe get an encounter on the route to the right of Vermilion as well, but I think we'll save the boat. We might end on the boat, so depending on how much we can get through. Um, but that's next time. There's no items down here. I'm done. Goodbye. Uh, excuse me. Hello? Hello? I'm here. Hello? People often lose things. No, they don't. I looked. I just looked. Anyway, oh, we have a Route 6 encounter as well. So we're actually going to start tomorrow's episode, or Friday's episode, I should say, by getting our Route 6 encounter, which we won't be able to um, trade in right away. But uh, once we clear all the traders off the route and head down to Vermilion City, we will. And then, uh, like I said, Old Rod, Route 7 or whatever route is to the this way of Vermilion City, and Diglett's Cave, and maybe start clearing the boat. And then on next Monday's episode, we will do the boat and Lieutenant Surge. So we're making our way through this game pretty quickly. Um, although the beginning of this game is pretty quick, it's the later game once you start hitting to the seven islands that starts taking a very long time. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you subscribe to become a citizen of Playcrastination today. And if you know anyone that you think would be a great Playcrastinator, go ahead and send them by because we would love to have them. But with that, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.